This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's up? This is John from John Bench for Photography, and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on an anniversary session I recently did. So to give you all a little bit of a backstory, this is the couple who I shot their wedding about a year ago. And on their wedding day, they had the absolute worst weather I have ever seen. I'm talking tornado warnings and the whole nine. I was super excited about their venue and about their wedding, but unfortunately it just was the worst day and I had to shoot everything at like 1600 ISO and I personally was not happy with the photos. However, the couple absolutely loved the photos and it actually got published online with Essence Magazine, so it was a good wedding overall. That's how picky I am with my own work. <laughs> But since I wasn't happy with how the wedding day went or the photos, I promised them a free anniversary session. So for this session, I'm using Fujifilm's fastest lenses. I have the 50 f1, the 23 f1.4, and the 16 f1.4. Also for this session, I'm gonna keep the majority of the audio in, so you're gonna be able to hear how I talk to my couple and how I pose my couple. So make sure to watch this whole thing the full way through so you can see how I work and pose my couple. Again, if you like information like this, make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep making behind the scenes videos for you all. So yeah, just hang out, grab some popcorn, and let's go ahead and get into the session. All right. Let's see what we have going on here. I messed myself up because of this 50 F1, I just use it all the time. I'm like, it's so good. So go, do you see this middle section with the greenery? Kind of where that square is in the middle. I'm gonna have you all there. Yeah, that's fine. So Lonzo, that's perfect. Face him, Bianca, there you go. There it is, it's perfect. Y'all look at each other again. Four heads together, same pose. Four heads together. So good, yeah, I love this location. Y'all stay like that. Get some little sweet nothings in there. Beautiful. <laughs> let's uh, let's do a walking shot. Go back to the second gray line. So again, with walking shots, I'm in zone autofocus, and then continuous autofocus, and then I back button. I'm gonna go high shutter speed. And so when y'all walk again, you don't have to look at me, look wherever, look at each other. Maybe crack a joke in there, make her laugh. And go ahead. So while I'm doing these walking shots, I generally shoot a lot of photos. Basically, I'm on high shutter and I don't just hold it down, but I take a little burst to get all the emotion and the different facial expressions that they make. Also, it makes it easier to catch if they do something random like yes. when they do the little spin here, rather than me missing it because I'm only taking a couple of shots. Yes, it's a little bit more to call, but again, you'll get some really nice pictures and you have more emotions to choose from. So Bianca, go ahead and lay your head on his chest. There it is. Yep, beautiful. Look at each other. Um, let's do, let's put you all on this wall. So Lonzo, put your back on the wall. And then you all will be chest to chest. 
Yes, exactly. So one thing you may notice about the way I like to pose my couples is I actually like to be a little bit hands-off. I like to call it natural posing. So I'll put them in a situation together where they can interact with each other, tell them what I want them to do, and then let them do it and take my photos from there. Yep, look at each other. Same thing, look back at me. Lay your head on his chest. Beautiful, stay like that. A couple more. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Dang. So the biggest tip I can give you all during your own sessions is make sure when you're looking through the viewfinder to actually look at the whole scene. You'll see here in a second, I pick out something that I didn't like in the shot. I'm gonna get picky. Lonzel, your foot this out, can you point? Yeah. Like seriously, I cannot tell you how many times some little random thing in a shot catches me and I get back to edit and I'm looking at my photos like, man, how did I miss that? So seriously, make sure you're looking at the whole scene, not just your couple and their pose. Throw a kiss in there, yep. Oh, we're gonna do it. Let me see if I can. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, y'all look at each other. Don't be afraid to be creative and do something a little bit out of the norm. It's a great way to get some cool shots or something that was a little different. Just because an area may look boring, remember, as a photographer, we can take things out of context. We can change the perspective, and that's half of what our job is. Don't ever go to a location and just think, oh, this is boring, there's no way I can make good photos here. You can take good photos anywhere. So let's take a quick moment to talk about this video's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're a creative entrepreneur, photographer, or wedding photographer like myself, Squarespace is hands down the best place online to build your portfolio. I've been using them for six years now and it is the hub of my online presence and the best way for me to get new clients. Taking your photos and uploading them in a blog format or just a portfolio is extremely easy. They have multiple pages that also have templates on them and also the template for the whole website themselves. I mean, basically you can jump into Squarespace real quick, pick some templates, pick some page templates and build your whole site in honestly minutes. On top of being able to easily build your website, Squarespace also has great customer support and all types of other features like commerce and analytics to help you see who's visiting your website. Make sure to check out the link in the description below for 10% off of your website or domain. So let's go ahead and get back into the rest of this session. There it is, look at, look at that. Yeah, just if you could for me, I'm gonna have both y'all scoot over just a bit. I'm sorry, I'm always, there it is. Oh yeah, we can make this work. We can make this work. Y'all just post up there. So the one thing I didn't like about this scene is that splotchy through the tree leaves lighting. I dealt with it and I didn't mind the photos, but generally I wouldn't pick a spot like this for my photos. Look at each other. And then be 
Bianca, look over this way. Lonzel, kind of like you're trying to whisper in the ear almost. And then look off opposite directions. Yeah, I like your hand up actually, Lonzo. Yeah. Lighting's a little rough because the sun came out, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, yeah, let's walk down the block and around and we're almost good to go, I think. So let's do the same thing. We'll put Lonzel in the front again. Um, hold her with your right hand. And when you look back, you'll want to do it right here in the center. So I'm gonna shoot this with the 16, one, four. We're gonna stop down some, cause it's also super light right now. It might not work here. That, uh, that light is kind of rough. Yeah, that light is rough. So the lighting here wasn't the best and it was like full on sunlight, but honestly, I chose to do it and I was happy with the end result. All right, go ahead. Remember, keep that space between you two. So this is hands down one of my favorite shots to do. I think I do it almost at every location I can. If you keep up with my Instagram, you know my hashtag wide shot Wednesday always has a shot like this with the walking shot. It's a fun shot to do and really it's easy to pull off. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but it's always worth it if you want a nice wide photo. I would say if you don't shoot wide normally, give it a try, get one of your widest lenses and just make your couple extremely small in the photo. It's really fun to do. Definitely make sure to check it out. That was better. I want your strides longer. Actually stay closer to the wall. What's happening is y'all are hitting this shadow and it's like a dope silhouette basically. Cause the, the lighting is the worst right now. Cause I either blow out all of the outside cause it's hitting direct sun or I can't see y'all cause you're in shadow. So yeah, you, if you want to, you can start inside this column and then just walk. Yep, one more time, go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Y'all come closer. Come Lonzo, come to Bianca. Um, scoot over a little bit. That light pole is just like right there. There it is. Yep, look at each other. Look at each other again. Let's do a uh, reverse spoon. So Lonzel step up, Bianca you'll be behind him. Yeah, facing out this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but hold his arm rather than coming around. Yeah, or either hands, like, yeah. You can even um, try both, both hands on that one arm. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, looking good. Keep your ring hand where it is.
So I hope you all enjoyed that behind the scenes of a full session. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more sessions and more behind the scenes. And make sure to hit that like to let YouTube know that you absolutely love this kind of content. Thank you all for hanging out on the channel and I will catch you all next time. All right, peace.